Gotta make that one right flip in front of the right two. Like any one of these flips could be an eight or 10 pounder. Just gotta think the next one could be, could be the bite. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh yeah, I got one. There we go. I got two. I got two. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's big and get in here. Oh, it's a big one too. Oh god. Giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. That would be. Did I screw up? It's cost myself two pounds. Hey, Trip, you'd think I'd done it enough times that I'd learn, but I uh, made a cast with six fish in my live well. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> All right, day one of practice here at Santee Cooper. And we got ourselves a little traffic jam. Pretty excited to get out here on Santee Cooper. Never been here before. Makes me a little bit nervous about running around. It's full of cypress trees and stumps and laydowns and shallow sandbars. And here's to day one and not breaking anything. Well, here goes nothing. First Santee Cooper bass is in the boat. It's not very impressive though. Cute little fella. Did eat the old chatter wagon though. We are back in the saddle. Even though it hasn't been that long since we saw you guys. It's just been a mere week. By the time you see this, we went straight from Gunnersville to right here on Santee Cooper. It's my first time being here. It's quite an interesting place. It has been Pretty dang tough to get a bite. Uh, I don't know exactly what these fish are doing. Caught some on top water, caught some punching. A little bit of everything. But I haven't caught that many. <laughs> so I've caught them doing a bunch of different things, but I haven't caught that many. We're going to figure out how to catch a bass tomorrow. I don't know how yet, but we're gonna figure out how to catch a bass tomorrow. Today, it's the first day that I weigh 30 pounds in an Elite Series tournament. Why is that so funny? Well, because you please, please do explain why that is so funny. Because you talked about how horrible it was. <laughs> so? Hard. We're down here at Santee Cooper Lake. It's gonna be a real <laughs> kicking good time, if you know what I'm saying. How many cups of coffee? We're gonna, you? we're gonna find us a bevy of six pounders. Bevy? That's your word for the day. It means a collection or many things. <laughs> It's a Whoa. bevy. <laughs> Were you in there just be looking up words? No, I saw it on the gas station actually yesterday. It's a bevy of Santee Cooper bass. A bevy of bass. That's what we're searching for today. It's day one here at Santee Cooper. We got things to do, like putting our shoes on, taking our cover off, catching bass, topwater bass. Oh. Dude, if it's topwater bass. If you bass. missed the shot today, all right, that's a lot there, of pressure, You have dude. lots of opportunities for bird shots this week. Lots of opportunity for B-roll. Don't miss the top water. Top shot. water, I don't think I've ever got a good top water bite. I know, that's why I'm reminding you not to miss it. If there's a weakness, if there's a kryptonite, it is the top water bite. I'm feeling good this morning. Even though practice was tough, I'm feeling fresh. I got work to do. It's gonna be a tough one today. It's gonna be a grinder. But all that means is that we just gotta mentally stay in it. Been thinking about that this morning. About how the tough tournaments are the easiest ones to stray mentally. It's the easiest ones to start going through the motions. Grinder, tough fall tournaments, 
You gotta mentally stay with it. And that's what we're doing today. South Carolina for stop number seven of the Batsmaster Elite Series. Obviously gonna get going at 7.05. Well, this isn't good. Maybe it is. Stay on there. He's not very big. I don't even know if he'll keep. We got one. Literally, as the words were coming out of my mouth of, this is not good. Well, that's a bummer. Got like a five pounder right here in practice. Get out of there, get out of there. Oh, yeah! Hey! What are you talking about? Just both that sucker. Bam! Woo! Put you on that side, baby. I didn't think it was that big when it came out of the mat. That was literally the exact same cast that I caught a five pounder on. Oh, makes me feel like we're back in it. Like we're back in the game. That one will keep. He's not freaking giant, but he'll definitely make a cut. Alrighty. It's redemption for your Gunnersville cousins. I got one. It's a Megan too. I got two. I got two. I got two. I got two. Two Megans. Oh my God. Come here. Come here. I still got him though. Yes. 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 Dude, I've never done that on a jerk bait. I'm shaking so freaking bad. Put that one in the box first. That was wild. I'm shaking so bad right now. <laughs> That's the way to put five in the box. Stay on there. El Cole for sure. Decent Cole. My bass track says we have 16 pounds. Good one. Oh. Woo. That's a bad. Probably five pounder. Gosh, they just came up again. Today would be, uh, best word for it, slightly unexpected day like today happens and it's funny how quick it changes and you go straight into I'm ready to try to win this derby that would be did I screw up this cost myself two pounds no dude I did screw up didn't I Look. How did I do that? Do you, are you sure you only have? Yeah, because there's three big ones on this side, right? Yeah, I did. I freaking screwed up. How did I do that? I, you toss one. I did toss one. How did you? <sighs> Dude, it's going to cost me a big time. Hmm. One, two. I don't know. Honestly, don't know how it happened. Oh, I didn't call when I caught that last big one. 
totally just screwed my whole derb. Hey, Trip, you'd think I'd done it enough times that I'd learn, but I uh, made a cast with six fish in my live well. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> just like that, got ourselves a two pound penalty. Now we're down to 16 pounds. Trust me, it's gonna hurt till Sunday. Till the derb's over and you realize if it hurt you or not. <clears throat> that is literally the exact same place I caught one this morning. Exact same flip. You should cool one of them out. We could have had a really, really good bag. I mean, we do have it, but. I'm pumped up that we caught him. I'm pumped up that Carl caught him, according to Bass Track. I'm not so pumped about my mistake, but. What do you do? Learn from it. A real good bag. I think we might have a new leader. Five fish. Total weight, 21 pounds, five ounces, 21.5. Oh. Two pounds definitely hurts on a fishery like this, um, where it's just, it's so tough to get bit right now. Fortunate that, you know, it happened, I guess, on a day that I had a good bag. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you got a seven and a half? Oh, no, nah, that's bad. Yeah, like had the a, three big ones, two yeah. little ones. I had a seven, I had a seven and a half, seven, so nine. I got you. I had twenty three five, but I made oh. it, but I made a cast with six fish. Oh, You're welcome. No. <laughs> no. So I, I had tw I had twenty one instead of twenty three or whatever. Oh no. Yeah. Good Such an idiot. Yeah. yeah. As I predicted, there would be at least one stringer, and here it is, day one. Twenty five pounds, eight ounces. 25 pounds, eight ounces. What a star for Carl Jackson. 25 and a half. And number two. And one and two. How does it feel to be the sidekick, Woo! dude? I'll be Carl's sidekick any day. <laughs> Call me Robin. Carl, pretty stoked? Yeah, he's jacked. He's super stoked. Guess what? I'd be cool if we rode that train all the way to the end of the week. Yep. I'm about it. I'm a bit. Family affair. Almost boat flipper, and I was like, "Don't be a hero." <laughs> <Don't> be <laughs> a hero. <laughs> I looked at the hook. I was like, "I can boat flip it." I was kind of. Me and Carl are about to smoke Kyle in a run. Oh man, that's actually not true because Kyle's the only bougie one. I'm bougie. If if I technically beat you guys today, does that put me in first place? No. All right, you guys ready? Ready. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Run. Who's keeping pace? Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, how was it? Good. It was actually faster than I wanted to go, but to be expected. That's what you want, someone. Three, three some... alpha males, you know. They're pushing each other. Two alpha males, let me rephrase that. One cameraman. <laughs> One cameraman. Hey, Carl. How you feel, Carl? Nah, it's awesome, I love doing a that was a light run. Gets everything going. Feels perfect for tomorrow, so. How's it feel uh, being ahead of BP? Oh. Just like slight, like it's better when you're close because you can just like talk shit a lot more. <laughs> Let's finish the tournament now. Just cut it off. Felt like, like I'd be. A, I mean, he's one of my best friends. So I give him a two pound lead. You know, a little two pound cushion. Right at the end, you like. Well, hey, free Carl's two pound. Leading, I'll keep six. Free two pound cushion. Yeah, someone on the bank. Carl's got twenty five. <laughs> I'm like, ah, okay. Give him two pounds. I'm like, I got six. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have our right, producer get you a copy next time. All uh, right, give us an intro. Day two, he got 23.5 yesterday, but we had a few minutes. Negative two pounds. <laughs> Second place behind Carl, who had 25 and a half. Yeah. Pretty nuts. But we're just hoping for five big ones again. And maybe not six today. I've never caught six fish, period, in my entire life. Like, <laughs> all together. <laughs> Good night, day number one.
but we cannot win this derby off of one day. Here we are, day number two. Got a live camera. Gonna need another 20 sack. Had 21 pounds yesterday. We well, actually had 23, but you guys know what happened. And uh, that is the last we will speak of that. Kyle. All right, guys, we're here. Day two, little update on the coffee situation. I've uh, heard word that the Black Rifle Coffee crew's here again, heading over. Gonna try to grab me some, some coffee for the morning. Cup number three. <laughs> so tell me about the giveaway, man. Uh, so we're giving away this boat and truck. It's an 18 foot bass cat with a 150 on it. We're giving away this 2020 Toyota Tundra and a $4,000 rifle, two crossbows, some longbows, all kinds of stuff, $110,000 worth of stuff. All you gotta do is text outdoors to 91852. We're giving it away at December 15th. So stay tuned, it's free to enter. Why not? That was my third cup of coffee for the day. From the Black Rifle guys. I was meant to get that to you earlier. Oh, that's ballsy. <laughs> that's impressive. I, I want to see how this one plays out today. <laughs> Wrong pipe. Right, it's good, though. Good luck today. Hopefully, we catch a couple big ones out of those fish. Go punch up a couple seven pounders. Slide on back to weigh in. And do it again on day three. That's the plan. Let's go see if it works. That's not gonna cut it. Careful, buddy, you get eaten around these parts. How are we gonna catch them today? Gosh dang it, man, why? Why? Didn't lose one all day yesterday. That was a big one. Everybody go. Big. Stay on there. Yeah! That's the way to start right there. I just went ahead and bear clawed that one. And the, the thing is, is I didn't, I haven't spent much time here, so I'm learning how these fish are setting up every day. I'm learning more and more and more. Big, stay on there. She's still on there. She's still on there. Yes, yes. Woo! Punch him that. That one got the heart pumping. <laughs> oh, big and oh, he's not that big. Dang it. Barely, barely keep, but he got number three. I think it's time to go hit the good punch stretch. I think I have eight pounds. <laughs> I lost two big ones this morning. We got lots of time. I feel like I'm so zoned in right now. Need to be getting a bite. I got that Champlain focus going on. And I'm just, I'm not getting in a hurry. I'm just taking my time, taking everything apart, because it can happen quick. These are literally swamp donkeys. That might have to be our tourney tee. Look how dark that one is. Holy cow, he's like black as night. Big one too. It's a big one. Don't you jump? Don't you jump? <laughs> Not a giant, but it'll definitely pull. Yes. Oh, yes. That's an upgrade. Yeah, that's gonna be a good pull. Got to make that one right flip in front of the right fish. Like any one of these flips could be an eight or ten pounder. Oh yeah, I mean, we're one bite away from being like right there in this thing. Biggin. Stay on there. Oh, freaking biggin. Oh my gosh. Get in here. Woo! Woo! What'd we say? One bite away, baby. What'd I say? One bite away. That's another seven pounder almost. Woo! <laughs> oh, there we are again. <laughs> oh, right there in your days. Whoop. 
flipped right around. I was like, man, should I should I go down and lip it? Nah. We'll just. I was I thought about it. I started moving that way and then I saw her just like hooked way down in there. I'm like, nah. She coming in the boat. Time to roll back. We got a decent bag, we got 39 minutes to the side. It's a little bumpy out there probably, so got some storms rolling in, time to roll. Yesterday still makes me mad. It's gonna make me mad till Sunday, but we had a good day today. I felt like I lost more fish today than I did yesterday, but I felt like I fished better. Like mentally, I was better today. I was super like hyper focused all day, especially punching and everything. Like I felt like I was just in the zone. We can just keep that all week. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> Four-time Bass Factor Elite Series champion, a former Bass Nation National Champion from Rock Idaho, the prodigy Brandon Polinick. Yeah. At 21-1 yesterday, he's 16-15 to take the lead here today. Yeah. Brandon Polinick is going to be the big five all alive. 18 pounds, 13 ounces. It's a 39-pound, 14 ounces, and the Prodigy is once again leading here at the Bassmaster Elite Series. Watching from the top of the mountain. Whoop, whoop. Woo! Felt like I was in the zone. You hear that all the time in sports, and I, I felt like I was just hyper-focused all day. Felt like the time was just standing still, and that's what you need in these events. I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. I have exceeded my expectations after my practice, and I'm going to go out and, and see what happens. You know, I had some cool stuff happen at the end of the day, but maybe it'll work out and uh, we'll be able to make a run at this thing. Kind of getting a little nervous now. <laughs> I don't know, just, I want to win. After practice, I didn't think like, I didn't think I would be in this position. So now I'm like, ooh. Oh, I don't really yeah, know what's yeah. gonna happen. I kind of like, I kind of want to hold another trophy. Who's getting ice cream at Dairy Queen? Cut ice cream day is always a good day. Why is everybody up so early, by the way? We're up early. So you, guys are, you guys are up at like 5.15. Oh, I literally woke up two minutes before my alarm went off. I was like, hey. <laughs> I set the hook so many times in my sleep last night. It woke me up. So if I do that today, set the hook that many times, I think we'll be all right. Day three is the toughest, right? Not for me. Day three is good for Brandon. How do you feel? Day three is, I would, day four, I'm hyped up. I'm ready to rock and roll. Day three, I'm like, kind of like, are we there yet? Is it day four yet? They don't hand out uh, trophies on day threes. So regardless. Oh just, no, we're trying to put this sucker away today. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the three. moments of having an opportunity to win. Doing it long enough now, I know how hard they are to come by. And this one's kind of special because it's come very unexpected. You know, I did not have a good practice. All the other ones that I have won, I've had a really good practice. Feeling good about it. Just gonna have to go out. We need that big bite today. That's what separates you. You get two of them, that's what gives you a shot to win. It's so cool to have us all up there, all getting paid, all in the top 10. It doesn't get any better. You gotta take in moments like this because they're hard to do in bass fishing. We started with 85, cut it down to 40, and we're looking for our top 10 to move on to Championship Sunday for the seventh time of the 2020 season. Barely, but he's a keeper. We got one. I don't know where everyone's at. Got one. Got it. 
That's a good, that's a good one. That was on the end of the cast. Stay on there. It's a big one. Oh, stay on there. No! Oh, it's a four pounder. Oh man, that one hurt. Do, you, do our part, but just getting a bite is so tough. Getting another big bite. Another big one. Oh, he's not that big at all. Keep going. Let's go ahead and get us started with a limit, and we'll go from there. No more losses today. No, he's probably not gonna keep it. Sorry, buddy. Gosh, that bite gets your heart pumping. He's short. Make a big difference. That's a better one. Stay button. Oh, he's not that big. Gosh. Keep though. Eventually, one of them's gonna be a big one. So punch the good stretch. Can't get discouraged. No, it can just happen any second. I thought all their wiring was backwards in Australia. Are you good? Come on, EK. Just say something if you need help. I mean, I will if, I, if it's something he thinks I can help with. Get in here. That's the base one I got by about double. We just like double up on that. Were you going this way? Or were you on that? Going that way? Oh, sorry. I thought you were going that way. Like you can. I'll just offer Gabe's boat up to you. <laughs> yeah, I'll let my guys get in there and fix it. I know they're still around. They just live here. I just have not gotten in a rhythm. You know, we did a little bit when we first got here this morning. That was a big old giant waste of time, I guess. Come on, Ring. I know they couldn't have gone far. Too many fish around here. Stay on there. Stay, Peggy. Stay down. Oh, it was going to barely, barely keep, maybe. It bounced off that stump. Oh, he's 14 and three quarters. All day long we got five. That took forever. <laughs> I don't know how bad it's gonna be out there. Yeah. Woof da. Just a little sporty. But I kinda like it. Carl's gonna pass us again. He caught a four pounder with 25 minutes left up there and had to run all the way back. I haven't looked at Bass Track, so I don't know what it looks like or anything. I just hope we still have a shot. I'll take, I'll take 11 and be happy for today. The prodigy, Brandon Fulliday! Everything else is looking for 10, even to take the lead at 9-9, and, nine, and he is 7 ounces short. I'll hold one up just for fun. Oh, it's going to be a 20-pound bag tomorrow. 20? Yeah. Yeah. Someone's going to need, you're going to need to catch 20. Like, right? because someone's going to do it, and we're all going to be so close. Um, and there's several guys, I think, that are going to make it, that have been catching them better and better, and then a lot of us have, like, kind of fallen off. Um, we're all, a lot of us are all fishing in the same area. Oh, well, tomorrow is going to be even worse. Uh, it was a little rough today. Take a minute. Got it. Got it. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. You dirty dog, you. <laughs> you dirty dog. Remember what I said? If you're going to freaking beat me, do it over two pounds. By more than two. Four pounds on your last flip. Then smoke a stump. Yeah change your prop out yeah, and nice still nice. make it back. You made the cut. Carl regained his lead. But nah, I'm happy for him. Yeah, I mean, that's, remember I did say that earlier. It's like, well, Carl 
First day one, us day two, Carl day three, us in first on day four. Bummer for him, he should have let me lead on day one. We started with 85, cut it down to 40, and now only 10 remain. A few short hours from now, we'll crown our seventh Elite Series champion of the season. Might be me, but I think day four coffees taste better. It's day four. It's day four with a shot to win. But yeah, there's, this is what we do every single early morning and late night and grind. We do it all for this moment right here. And so I just try and soak every second of this up right now. I know there's another big bag in there. We just gotta spend the right time in there, make the right moves at the right times, and see what happens. How you feeling, Kayla? A little nervous. A little nervous. I feel like Super it's harder. Excited. I feel like it's harder on your and Tiff's side. I don't know if I can watch live all day today. I'm just gonna be a big ball of mess. Less than a minute till we officially kick off a championship Sunday. It doesn't feel little either. Oh, it's a good one. Stay on there. Stay on there, please. Come on. Oh gosh! Come here. Ah, 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 ah. Come here. Yes! Boom! That's how you fire shots on day number four. That's why we came down here. Boom! That's the bite we came here for. Oh, I'm shaking so bad I can barely even like hold my rod. Remember at the dock, I got that feeling. I said, I think I'm gonna start where we started day one. Just see if we can't throw an uppercut right away. There we go. Oh gosh. That's a big one. Oh gosh. Bigger than the last one. Chill. Yes. Yes. Three pounder. I almost didn't come down here. Get around. Hard to catch. Oh, that's gotta be a catfish or something. Oh, it's got me hung up. Get out of there. Get out of there. Big old giant cat or something. No, it's a giant large mouth, dude. Oh my gosh. It is a big old giant large mouth. Come on, come on, get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. There's a giant, giant, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I told you I could see him down there on that Mega 360. I told you I could see him. I knew those were bad. Dude, that's a dang hammer right there. Woo! That start sets us up for the rest of the day. Gosh, I'm like torn on, do I just grind it out right here? I'm rolling all the way up to Jets. What I'm seeing, looking like it's a little tough. So it makes me a little nervous, I'm not sure if it was the right call running up here or not. It's like bluebird sky and torrential downpour, side by side. How can I not even get a bite here today? Get in, get in, get in. Get in. Get in. It's as fast as that mud thing. It's a bass. You! That's another good one. That's not just a two pounder. It's a two and a half. Yeah. Go, let's go, come on. I feel like we're so close. Dialed, hyper-focused. Feeling like hear every little bug. Oh, it's like a pike or something. Thick girl. The last hour is going to be critical. The sun heating everything up. There is going to be an opportunity at a bite somewhere. Let's run back out to the money stretch real quick. Come on, man. Give us one big one. There we go. Stay on this. Stay on there. Stay on It is. It's a good one. Come here. Come here, come here. Yes! Yes! 
That's not a giant, but I'm so happy to have that two and a half pounder. Me. Woo! Thank you, drop shot. I mean, that's got to give us a chance. It might not be enough, and two pounds might come back to haunt us forever, but it's got to give us a chance. Just didn't want to do anything real stupid. <laughs> done, done enough of that this week. Oh, we have filled out our limit. We have got about 12 minutes of fishing time. And we finally got five. One big bite away from locking this thing up. One six. Oh, I can't get it. He's got all that grass. Where are you? I can feel him. I got him. I got him in all the grass. I got him in all the grass, baby. That's going to help. I went to try to flip him, but I couldn't get that grass. And he is pegged, too. Dude, we got a sack now. I feel like we got a legit shot and I don't want to risk it. We're going to rally. South Carolina, how's everyone doing today? Yeah. Freaking wild. I don't know what's going to happen, but I made, I made some really good decisions this morning. What's going on in the noggin? I'm so freaking nervous, man. I don't know what everyone else has. I know we got him though. <laughs> I mean, we can't do any more at this point. Like, to, today was nearly flawless, so. I don't know. I'm trying not to get choked up already, I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we started with 85, cut it down to 40, and only 10 remain. This is the seventh stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's get ready to win! If, it, if we pull it out, me or him, like, if I can pull it out, it's gonna be the coolest thing to be standing there right next to him. From Raptor of Idaho, the prodigy, Brandon Pollard! Four nine pounds, seven ounces, looking for 12, 13, 22 pounds! Woo! 22, 11, to 72 pounds, and two ounces, we say goodbye to Corey Johnson, and we say hello! We were going on three weeks of straight fishing, seven days straight practice, daylight till dark, all the things that go in behind it, you know, it all comes down. Then you, you get these opportunities, they're hard to come by. You know, it's, a, it's a crazy sport of ups and downs, you got to ride that wave, that's the, that's the biggest thing. And not let those lows get too low is what I'm learning and, you know, let the highs be high and, uh, and just enjoy it on the way. But, yeah, we gave it everything, that's for sure. That's the main thing. <laughs> Proud of you, dude. Thanks, mate. Carl's been a huge supporter of mine, and I've been a huge supporter of his. I've got his Fear My Heart sticker right dead center on my console of my boat uh, because I believe in that. I believe in what it stands for. He truly is one of my best friends. Like, this will be one of the coolest moments for me, honestly, because of that. You know, the fact that he is family, he's one of my best friends, and we get to stand up here, and one of us is going to win that thing. He needs 21 pounds and 9 ounces. Four fish, 13 pounds, 8 ounces. The prodigy doubles down. Screw this. Get out of here, man. Oh, <laughs> man. Good job, man. Good job, man. Good job, man. This one is so unexpected. Um, you know, I said it at Champlain. Everyone is special for its own reason. This one is no different. This one came out of nowhere. I've been so close to winning two in a year so many times. Can I touch it? 
You sure can. He's <laughs> good at handing this off. It's the second one this year. what it's all about right like last week our whole saying our turning tea everything was stay hungry right chase that classic chase those trophies you have bad events last week we finished in like 59th or 60th this week bam blue trophy so you just you never know when you just never know what's gonna happen that's what this sport is well our camp host just brought us some champagne for our win. So I've always wanted to do this. Like right here. So just be like, right, just a second. Three, two, one. <laughs> there you go, bro. That was delicious. How's it feel? Thank you, that was awesome. I wanted to do that so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not the drinking it part as much as just I wanted to shake it and spray it. Thank you. It was a good week. Didn't see it coming. Exceeded our expectations. Um, thanks to Bass and everybody here. Thanks to the chamber. And thank you to the sponsor of this event, US Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. Do you know any Marine? I do know some Marines. My grandpa was a Marine. Thanks, Gramps. Thanks to all the veterans out there. You guys rock. Couldn't do this without you guys. So, on to Chick. Let's roll to Chickamauga. We got six and a half hours. I got tackle to do. I got another derb to win.